Hello everyone, welcome to the third video in the Roll-In series. Uh, today we're going to talk about being relaxed as you perform the Roll-In. There are two things specifically that I want to cover today. Um, one is uh, a common error where there's a lot of tension up here in the shoulders when performing the Roll-In, and a lot of extra effort and movement of the shoulders where a uh, doctor's trying to do the Roll-In and they hike the shoulder up like this, or they're trying to do the roll-in and they really draw this back with a lot of muscular effort back here. Um, it should be a very relaxed uh, looking and should feel relaxed uh, as you do the, the motion. Okay. The second one is having too rigid of a roll-in hand where it makes it difficult to actually get the thumb past as you're trying to internally rotate and, and get the thumb past the radius of the contact arm. So first of all, let's talk about the shoulders. So I'm going to place my contact hand, and then I'm going to draw my roll-in hand back. And there is movement that you should see here. However, you shouldn't see a lot of movement. You shouldn't see the shoulders turn where the shoulder lever gets, um, gets angled a bunch. And uh, what you should see and feel is just a really relaxed motion where you feel the humerus being drawn back, the humeral head drawn back in the, uh, in the glenoid fossa, uh, but you don't want a lot of scapular motion, whether it be up or back and that sort of thing. So one more time, drawing this back nice and smooth to place your Roland in pisiform in the anatomical snuff box. Secondly, it's uh, the rigid Roland hand. So again, let's place the contact hand, Let's draw this back nice and smooth, place the pisiform, and then if you have too rigid of a roll in hand, what's going to happen is when I try to internally rotate, the only way I can get my roll in thumb around is by bending this elbow a bunch. Okay? What you want to do is have a really loose, limp, relaxed roll in hand where when you're internally rotating, it's super easy with the slightest effort getting that thumb past. Notice how there's no motion, no bending of the roll and elbow, no extra bending as I get that thumb around. So internal rotation and that elbow stays just as it is. Okay. So lastly I want to talk to you a little bit about what you should feel in terms of tension uh, at the end of the roll in and what should be relaxed. So let's complete the roll in here. Nice and relaxed drawing back here. Place the pisiform. Really relaxed, rolling hand. Letting that thumb slip around nice and easy. Wrap the fingers. And at this point, you should feel the tension between the pisiform of your rolling hand and the pinky and the ring finger of the rolling hand as well. So basically, between here and these two fingers, okay? Everything else here up on both arms needs to be as relaxed as possible in order for you to then perform a good triceps pull and transfer the force for the adjustment. A great way to tell if you are relaxed enough is once you've completed the roll in here to wiggle these two fingers, the index and the middle finger, on the roll in hand. If you can do that and maintain the tension here, then you've got, then you're pretty much as relaxed as you can be from the forearms up. So thank you again for tuning in for the roll in series and uh, look for more information on when we're going to do the webinar. Uh, to put all this together and ask your, your questions, Please uh, make comments and, and put questions, though, uh, here under the video, and we'll, we'll make sure to uh, get back to you on that. Bye-bye.